friends, welcome back to MQS Geology. So in this video tutorial, I will be talking about phyla mollusca. Okay. So before I am going to start, I will tell you that there is a short trick to remember all the characters of phyla mollusca. In this short trick, you will remember each and every characteristics of phyla mollusca, which will help you to remember in your exam also. So let's start the topic. Okay. So this is the trick and the trick is हटो सीएम उस बोट की सिस्टम से रो दिए ओके हटो सीएम उस बोट की सिस्टम से रो दिए सो व्हाट डज इट मीन हटो हटो हियर एच स्टैंड्स फॉर हैबिटेट हैबिटेट मींस वेयर द एनिमल्स ऑफ फाइला मॉलिस्का लिव ओके सो हियर द एनिमल्स लिव इन Aquatic habitat. Okay, aquatic means it has both fresh water and marine water. Okay. Then the next one is T. Here T refers to terrestrial. Means they live in land also. And then O. Okay. Here O means open circulatory system. Okay. Before phylum mollusca, the arthropoda have also open circulatory system. But annelids have closed circulatory system. Okay. Then the next is C M. Here C stands for silomate. Mollusca are silomates. And before platyhelminthes, all the elements are a silomate. And ascalhelminthes is single phylum which is pseudo silomate. Means false silomate is present. And after ascalhelminthes, all the animals have silom in their body. So here that is mollusca which have silom in their body. Okay. But the silom is in the form of blood. But the blood may not be red. But it is filled with blood. And I will later discuss what is the color of blood. Okay. Let's another meaning of C. That is calcareous cell. The body covered by calcareous cell. CN. Calcareous means Calcium is present in the cell. That is why it is named as calcareous cell. CM us. Then the next one is us. US. Here U stands for unsegmented. But the annelids are segmented and the arthropods are also segmented. But the molluscans are unsegmented body. That means segment is not present in their body. Okay. Then S. S means soft bodied animal. The body of the animal is soft body and the covering of the body that is cell is present in the covering of the body which is hard. Okay. The next one is boat. B-O-T. As I told you in the Anilida also why I write here the boat word. Let's see this again. Here B means bilateral. Means Suppose this is the animal and if we cut this animal in this direction then both the halves are equal. This is known as bilaterally symmetrical. Both the halves are equal. Okay. Then the next one that is here we have also another name. Let's see this one. Means body. The Moluscan body. The body have three parts. First one is head. Second one is muscular foot. And the third one is visceral hump. Okay. Head. Head is present in the anterior side. Okay. In the anterior side of the head also, there are sensory tentacles. Okay. And that sensory tentacles help in to sense all the foods present in the environment. Okay. In the anterior side, sensory tentacles are present. Sensory tentacles are present. Okay. Then the next one is muscular foot. Muscular foot is present in the lower side of the animal and it helps in locomotion. You know, the work of foot 
is locomotion and it present in the lower side okay and its work is locomotion then the third one that is visceral hum so what is the meaning of hum you must have seen in your life camel camel have hum in her body okay the hum is like this camel have hum in the body okay and here in molluscan also hump is present okay means suppose this is the hump this is hump and above hump there is a layer of cell layer of soft spongy cell this is the soft spongy cell known as mantle okay this is the soft spongy cell known as mantle which is present in the upper side of hum and in between the soft spongy cell and hum in between mantle and hum there are visceral mass visceral mass is present in between mantle and hum okay and in the visceral mass there are all the organ systems are present like digestive system respiratory system respiratory system circulatory system all the systems are present in the visceral mass okay like this this is your respiratory organ that is gill okay and in this area all the systems are present and above visceral mass it secretes the soft spongy cell which is mantle and the most important thing mantle secretes the upper layer that is cell the upper layer that is cell and cell have three types let's see here cell is of three types cell it is of external it is of internal or it is absent in some animals so external cell is hard type and it is present in snail and pila you must have seen in your life snail which have hard covering in their body the hard covering is the external cell which is present above the mantle okay and the next one is internal cell is present in sepia internal cell is present in sepia and cell is absent in which animal octopus cell is absent in octopus so this is all about the body of the animal then next one is o o means organ system all the organ system is present in their body as i told you digestive system circulatory system excretory system all the organ systems are present in the body of mollusk and the next one is tri triploblastic what does it mean triploblastic means three germ layers are present ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm okay three germ layers are present in the body of mollusk that's why it is known as triploblastic And the next one is boat key. Hato C A U S boat key system se rodi. Boat key here key means the annelid's body have kidney sub organ for excretion. Kidney has an excretion, so it have kidney sub organ which is known as bojanus in molluscan body. And the next one is system se rodi. Here. the starting of the various systems in the molluscan body there are various systems are present so let's start the system system c s means sensory systems and the sensory system there is presence of ostradium what is the work of ostradium it helps to detect taste it helps to detect taste this is your sensory system and the next one is 
your excretory system. How okay? In the excretory organ is what? Gojanus, which is of kidney cell. Okay, and in the excretory system, most animals are amonotelic. That is, the animals which are aquatic, they secrete ammonia as waste product in their body. And the next is ureotelic. The animals which are terrestrial means the animals which live on land, they secrete urea as their waste product. Okay. Then the next one is your rosea. Here R means radula. What is the meaning of radula? The most important thing of mollusca, the radula. The radula means, suppose, suppose this is the animal, these are the sensory tentacles, okay. This is the animal and this is the foot, this is the head, okay. As I told here, here the hoop is present and above the hoop the short spongy layer is present and this is the cell of the animal. Okay, let's see here that where radula is present. Radula, radula is present in the mouth position. In the mouth. Radula is the teeth like projections present in the mouth of the animal. Suppose this is the mouth and this is radula. Teeth like projections present in the mouth which is known as radula and it is the most peculiar feature of mollusca. Radula helps in the rasping of food means in the capturing of food. Radula helps in the capturing of food. Okay. Remember that the work of radula. Okay, the next one is your respiratory system. And in the respiratory system, there are respiratory organs which are gills and pulmonary sac. In mollusca, gills and pulmonary sacs are present. Okay, but as I told you before, the circulatory system, what kind of pigments are there? Okay, what kind of pigments are there? And in the silomid, as I told that, here the blood is present. So let's see here what kind of respiratory pigment is present in the molluscan body. The pigment is hemocyanin. Okay, hemocyanin, which is a copper pigment. Copper pigment and its color is blue in color. present in molluscan body. This is a respiratory pigment. Okay. Hemocyanin which is a copper pigment and it is blue in color. Okay. That is the respiratory pigment. So let's come to the next that is O. Here O means oviparous. Means what? They lay eggs. They lay eggs. Okay, they lay eggs and the next one is that is D. D means diocious. Diocious means both the sexes are separate. Means, suppose, male and female have separate animals. Male and female have separate animals and they are diocious. That means they are unisexual. Means sexes are separate. Okay. And D means also direct. Means the development is also direct. And here I is also there. Means the development is indirect. Means the development is also direct and also indirect. In indirect development, there is subsequent larval stages. Okay. And the next one is your I. Okay. That is your indirect or internal here your internal means what fertilization your fertilization is also internal and external internal means the fertilization happened in their body and external means the fertilization happened outside their body
this is internal and external that is the meaning of e and the next one is your nervous system in the nervous system ganglia and nerves are present so this is all about your phylum mollusca i hope you remember all the points let's repeat it again okay here hato cms boat ki system se rodiye hato means h means habitat it is aquatic and terrestrial also and o means open circulatory system that means blood flows directly to the organs there are no blood vessels okay and the next one is a c that means coelomate and calcareous cell is present that means it's made up of calcium and it is in the out it is in the upper layer of their body and c means coelomate also and in the coelom the blood is present which is in blue color okay and the next one is your us us means your u means unsegmented body of mollusca and s means soft bodied animal the animal have soft body okay and the next one is your bo here b means bilateral o means organ system and t means triploblastic okay here b means also body okay the body have three parts head muscular foot and visceral hump muscular foot that is present in the lower part and above muscular foot visceral hump is present above visceral hump visceral mass is present above visceral mass mantle is present above mantle cell is present the cell covering and cell is of three types external internal or absent in external the example is snail or phyla in the internal the example is sepia and absent it is absent in octopus okay then the next one that is key kidney sept organ is present for excretion which is known as bojanus in mollusca and the next one is systems the various systems is present in the molluscan body let's see this s here s means sensory system the sensory system have ostradium the work of ostradium is to detect taste and the next one is e that is excretory system kidney is present which is known as bojanus and it has two types amenotelic and ureteric amenotelic organisms the amenotelic are aquatic organisms which live in fresh water or marine water and the ureteric are terrestrial animals which are live on land the next one is your r r means radula radula is present in the mouth which is which help in for grasping the food or for capturing the food okay and here r means also respiratory system respiratory system have gills and pulmonary sac and the rest of respiratory pigment is hemocyanin which is a copper pigment and which is blue in color and r means reproduction and here there are various points of reproduction that is o o means oviparous they lay eggs and that is b they have direct and dioecious dioecious means both the sexes are separate and that is i i means in direct development is happen that means larval stage is present in their body and it is also internal means internal fertilization is happen then the next is e e is external fertilization is also happen that is fertilization outside their body the next one is your nervous system and means nervous system ganglia and nerves are present in their and this is all about your phyla mollusca i hope you clear with the content and if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for further videos in next video tutorial i will discuss some of the important topics of geology honors and thank you for watching